Good afternoon. I'm Madame Bonnell, the director of the French Exchange Program here at Hopewell Valley High School. And we are now currently in the middle of another visit by our French Exchange students from France, from the region of Lyon. We have been exchanging with this school now for two years, and this is their second visit. At this point, I would like to introduce Madame Dujardin, who will tell us a little bit about the Centre Scolaire de Thomas d'Aquin. Okay, my name is Mrs. Dujardin, and I'm an English teacher in France, but I was born here in Hopo Valley. And I'm here with a colleague, Madame Laurent. We've come with 14 juniors, equivalent of juniors from our school. Our school is located outside of Lyon, which is near, it's in the east, center eastern part of France, not far from Geneva in Switzerland. And these, most of the t our students that are here on the exchange are in a, an honors English class, so they are quite good at it. Um, some of them have actually been exchanging letters with uh, students from, the, from Timberlane for years, and it's the first time they've actually met their, car their correspondents or their, part their partners, which is exciting for us because it really means that something has, been, has taken place and is, uh, is being realized now at the end of, the, of a period of time. And I think that's about it for our school. All right, uh, the French exchange happens every two years, and I would just like to share that it is open to all students of French from the sophomore level through the AP level. Um, most of the students have told me that it is very doable, even if you are in the regular program as a junior, although it can be a bit demanding if you are a sophomore in the regular program because we are speaking French on a regular basis and the French are not cutting us any breaks at mm -hmm. all. So, at this time, I would like to let our French, visiting French students, introduce themselves. Hello, I am Pauline, and um, I'm one, one of the French students. Um. <laughs> I'm Marion, uh, I'm 16, and uh, I'm one of the French students, too. Hello, I'm Alexander, I'm 16. I live near Lyon in France, and I'm Pretty happy to be here. <laughs> the French students have been with us for a week already. This is their second week, and they've had the opportunity to attend a lot of events here at Hopewell. For many of them, this is their first visit to the United States. We thought we would ask them a few questions about some of their experiences here. My first question is what has most surprised you? about the United States? Uh, the first thing I saw when I went uh, here is that uh, it looks exactly like in the, you know, like the sitcoms or like in the films, where it's just like when we see like schools in those sort of films, we, hey, that's not like, like us. <laughs> when we come here, we just understand why it's this way. It's exactly the same. Uh, at first, we feel just like if we're in uh, those films. Yeah, um, it's right that there is a, a big difference between the two uh, high school in uh, France and high school in uh, in the United States. And um, I, uh, I, I was far from thinking that it was really, uh, really like that here. And so I was surprised that uh, that the the two the two high schools are very different. Yeah, um, <coughs> what surprised me the most was the differences between. Um, school in France and schools here and um, I was really um, impressed by all the activities they can do or and all the um, the equipments they are here like for example they have uh, a theater they have um, so many things they can do and a lot of sports and that's really different from France the French students had the opportunity to attend a pep rally recently here at Hopewell Valley, an event that does not exist in France. Let's see what they had to say about that. I think it was really exciting. Uh, actually, yeah, we're not used to it. I mean, uh, in France, we haven't got any events like that where we can see like volleyball players uh, and just yeah, matching bands, etc. It was really interesting uh, and really 
exciting. Um, yes, it was very impressive because uh, even if there was uh, the fourth, uh, the fourth grade who was uh, in competition, um, I had the feeling that uh, everybody was together and were having fun together, and uh, it was very, very good. Yeah, that was really nice, and I expected some something really um, impressive, but I was far from thinking it could be so huge and everyone um, could be so happy and so excited to go to the pep rally, and that was really, really fun. Now, all of you have expressed um, a surprise about how different school is here in the United States compared to France. Can we take a few moments and you can share a little bit about some of the differences that you have seen, positive and perhaps negative? Mm, actually, uh, on the one hand, the, um, this school is really big. We're not used to it. Uh, it's not only is it big, but also there's a lot of things. I mean, you have a theater class, uh, a TV studio, um, a lot of things like that that we don't have. Like you have gyms too, uh, that we don't have in any schools in, in France. It's really interesting and really yeah. But then on the other hand, there are some negative points like just you don't have any break between the the periods. It's what kind of breaks do you have in France? Um, every two hours we have uh, 15 minutes of breaks where we can relax and just... Uh, mm, and I think that um, in, uh, in France we don't have... Uh, we, we can't uh, develop our uh, artistic skills like here because there's no uh, art class or... Uh, or thea uh, theater class or uh, a studio in France. It's a, uh, it's very uh, <laughs> impressive and um, and it would be good if we can have uh, this in France. But um, what I uh, I prefer in France is that uh, we have uh, we have many holidays <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, I like it. <laughs> share share with the um, with our viewers. How frequent are your vacations in France during the school year? Um, we have uh, vacations every six uh, weeks, and the vacations last uh, two weeks each mm. time. Tell them how long your school day is. Uh, the school days start at uh, eight, uh, eight and a half a.m. and uh, ends at uh, between five or and six uh, p.m. So we work uh, eight hours a day. Mm. But I think that we have less homework than uh, at home. We can remedy that. Pauline, any thoughts? What I like about American schools um, is that the, the, uh, the, the day of school um, ends really early, so they have time to, to do whatever they want and sports and we don't have uh, the opportunity to do so many sports in France. Um, we just we can just do sports after school, uh, but we have homework, so it doesn't. Um, we don't have so many time. So now your tests are much longer mm -hmm. too so. in in France. How yeah. does that work? Um, we have every Wednesday uh, four hours of tests uh, of every subject. Like for example. Um, can have four hours of math or um, two hours of English, two hours of history, for example. And we also have tests in, during the class. Mm. And why do you have those long tests on Wednesday afternoons? Um, I think it's to, to prepare us for the back. So it's um, an exam at the, end of the, of the, at the end of high school. We have um, in uh, première for France, and I think here it's Junior year? Yeah, junior. Uh, we have uh, French, and at the end of high school, so a senior here in Terminal in France, uh, we have th all the other subjects, and it's like big tests. My final question for the students is what kinds of foods have they eaten here that have surprised them or been different? 
Um, I tried um, American pizza. It's not really the same as the Italian one that we're used to <laughs> eating in, in France. Um, also, I tried the bagels. Mm -hmm. I think uh, everybody was surprised. <laughs> the, the first brunch we, we did when we uh, just the day after we arrived. Um, what else? I think that's, that's it. But a lot of American hamburgers. <laughs> What have you been eating from the cafeteria? You've had some lunches here from the cafeteria. Yeah, so pizzas and hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, have you had anything different? Um, I like uh, peanut butter mm -hmm. because we don't have this in France and I really love it. But what I uh, find strange is um, uh, uh, pumpkin. Ah, yes. <laughs> you hear pumpkin. Uh, and even uh, with sugar or, uh, or sweets, and it's very strange <laughs> because we, we we eat pumpkin, but uh, only uh, only on October in uh, on in October, and uh, it's not a uh, it's not something that we eat uh, on uh, on breakfast or something like that in cakes or. <laughs> How do you uh, serve pumpkin in France? How do you Soups. say? How do you serve it? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, in soups or... Uh, we or really I think that's it. Mm. Yeah, as yeah, a vegetable. Primarily yeah. Yeah. as a vegetable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think they don't really eat vegetables <laughs> here. <laughs> Pizza is a vegetable. <laughs> but um, I miss vegetables here when I'm here. But um, I'm not here to get skinny, so I just eat. <laughs> Sweet things, and I like bagels because we don't have such good bagels in France. We just, yeah, it's not as good as here. Have you missed French bread since you've been here? Not really. Mm -hmm. no? Because oh, French yeah. bread has a fairly famous reputation mm. here. Yeah. Have you had American cheeses at all? Um, no, I don't not think really, so, no. except for the pizza. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I think tomorrow we have a big trip mm -hmm. to Washington, D.C. The students will get to walk around Washington and see the Capitol and the White House. It'll be a nice um, picture opportunity for everyone. The American students will be joining us as well tomorrow, so we'll have a lot of really nice group pictures, and we're hoping that the weather is good. At this time, I'd like to turn to some of the students two of our students from the French for Honors class, Maya and Jared, have consented to share a little bit with us, and I'm going to ask them a question or two in French. Bon, <laughs> est-ce que vous voulez visiter la France et pourquoi? Uh, oui, je veux visiter la France parce que j'aime beaucoup la nourriture française mm. um, et je veux manger la nourriture française. <laughs> et oui, um, je veux visiter la France pour aller à Normandie et voir les plages de Didé et de plage. Bon, est-ce que vous avez voyagé dans d'autres pays? Est-ce que vous avez déjà voyagé dans d'autres pays. Oui, um, j'ai voyagé au land, à land. Uh, on end. On, on end. Um, parce que j'ai ma famille habite à land. Bon, Jared? Et um, je, je suis allée à Belgique et en Suisse et les autres pays en Europe quand j'ai habité en Belgique. Bon. Merci les deux. So you can see that our American students are very well traveled as well. Thanks so much for joining us.